I am sitting uh, at my uh, computer and uh, so I can see the date. Congratulations to me. Uh, it's um, September 28th. September 28th, 2023. And uh, I got to know something I didn't new something special today that uh, they talking about mavlid mavlid uh, that means uh, muhammad's uh, birthday mevulud mevulud can it also be um, and uh, it's very very strange, but uh, what I'm going to talk about is that uh, something have happened many times in my walk under God that uh, I have coming to those uh, Abrahamic religions when those prophets are when there is their birthday and it I have even also been I was together with a man for a weekend maybe one week like that but he was not the man I was interested of but I was interested uh, that he took me to to Harry Christian. He was this Harry Christian uh, traditional religion, what they call it. And uh, he took me with me to to the city, uh, my neighbor city, and we celebrate the birthday and it was rituals that I didn't know how to do those things but I be educated so they were different in that way that they teach me and there was one side of that women should sit at and the man was more to perform on the floor and it was very strange for me that they the men that come in they running down and lay flat on the floor in front of those statues they have on different gods and uh, you know this Harry Krishna Harry Hari 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 Christmas. I don't know <laughs> how they singing now. I have could knew it before, uh, for many years ago. But now I d- I don't remember this song. But they r- go out on the street and uh, dancing, singing, and have those bells. So you maybe know what it is. And most of them is shaved the head of the man. And um, and then he took me to Denmark, to Copenhagen, where, where it was birthday also for Hare Krishna. And there was... Uh, one of the highest in Hare Krishna. He come from United States and uh, he was doing uh, some sermon. But uh, the I got nightmares of uh, what I saw. It took me some years to take that away from my brain about how they were sitting and counting pearls on their necklace, very 
long necklace. It took two, three hours to go through all these pearls. So he's, he left me and he said, I must go out in the car and sit and pray, he said. And so I wait inside the house. And it was much to see as as many was there because this man come from United States, so they wanted to see him. And so I have been there, and then uh, for many years ago I was to Baha'i Baha'i uh, religion. Uh, they have a, a very beautiful park and houses in Haifa in Israel. I have been there. I have seen it. I have not been inside, but I, uh, we drive, we pass by there. So I saw this park and uh, the big house they have. So it's not a small uh, religion beliefs system and it uh, count as Abrahamic religion so I was uh, curious about them and I drove to I go with a with a train and bus to to the neighbor city that is not the closest but a little far away from where I live uh, in Malmö, if you know that city. And uh, I come to these people and they were sitting in like an apartment. It was not that I could see, but I had the address to them. So I went in and and I'd be surprised that this was many cakes on the table uh, it was birthday <laughs> it was the birthday of this uh, yeah, I don't uh, remember today but uh, maybe he was from Russia that have started this and uh, it was his birthday uh, of course he didn't live it was his birthday uh, maybe in the eight, 1800 he was and um, so I was to to this birthday but they were the women was mean to me they were not nice those women so I turned away from them I didn't want to come back because the women was like always those men was very nice to me I think I got a, a, a ride home of a man and uh, it was it uh, it was evil and uh, they were the women that was there they were not Swedish so I didn't belong to them. And uh, and then um, I have been... Uh, so... Uh, and then uh, God uh, told me to go to the, mo the mosque. To go into the Muslims. And I was there, but... They kicked me out, these evil women. And I didn't know. They should have been more friendly to me. Because it was Muhammad's birthday that day. I didn't know that I come to the most holy day there. I didn't see anything uh, more than... They gave me coffee, the men. But the women was kick me out. And um, and uh, I 
I just wondering why why God is sending me to those birthdays. Uh, of course I have been to Jesus' birthday also, as it is Christmas and I have been in the Lutheran church before. I was born into Lutheran church. So of course I don't celebrate Christmas anymore. And um, I do it, uh, I do nice things on that day, but I don't celebrate with the Christmas tree. Or I, I buy me some beautiful flowers like that. And uh, I'm, I eat very nice dinners, dinner, but I don't get any any gift from anyone uh, so I try to give me myself some some gift like well uh, I have been travel over to Denmark and with a boat and on the boat I could I sit and eat Christmas Christmas dinner like that and uh, and I maybe do that if I had not travel, because I have a hotel in in Gran Canaria, Spain, uh, where I have uh, placed me to have uh, some weeks there in the warm weather to could cut off this snow and cold weather and gray, especially the gray weather that is gray, dark almost the whole day. I, I have hard to, uh, to know that it will, will be here soon if I don't go away from it like I did with Israel. Uh, there was it uh, 20 Celsius when I come here uh, to Israel, but in Sweden it was maybe 2-3 Celsius degrees and, uh, and an icy and uh, outside uh, my hotel in Copenhagen uh, at the airport it was snow there. So I I will say I will not take that um, uh, booking of a hotel room away before a week before to see if I I can get that kind of money so I can fly to to a little warmer place. In Christmas, a Christmas gift for myself, <laughs> and uh, um, I I was on my way to recording a podcast because of uh, it had been much killings here, and the September month that we are in, it have never been so much killings in Sweden as it is, it, as it have been now. And uh, yesterday it was a, a woman that was killed in uh, when the, the whole house, uh, uh, a three, four floor high house, complex ha house, uh, they had a bomb in it uh, and destroy it and one woman she was laying sleeping and she was killed of it and she had no nothing with criminals people to do it was an ordinary person and the, uh, our minister prime minister he was out uh, in the television today and I listened at him and and they say they can't uh, protect ordinary people. It can happen 
to all kind, all people in Sweden that they can suddenly be killed. They can't protect us. And uh, they have now taken in the military. But, but uh, those laws that we have in Sweden is not like in other countries because the military is not allowed to to do any shooting or fight against these criminals. They can only do some protecting work like go away from here. They can only do do very little harmless things. And it's the old way to look at our country. And uh, those evil, they uh, take advantage of that uh, we have mild laws that we can't defend ourselves as in other countries country they can do that and um, so it's uh, about those evil things going on in the world today and uh, I repeat myself when I tell you that uh, this was already told because uh, they, they in afterlife they have said that uh, we should start the tribulation was on uh, the tribulation started 2019 when we get the COVID-19 it was uh, in November December it started uh, in some countries and it come here in Sweden in March 2020 and uh, they told me and I told you that have follow me that uh, the tribulation we should count it uh, it started in the end of 2019 and uh, so and uh, so counted it uh, counted it seven years it will be uh, the, the they say it's the peak should be here now and uh, it was uh, about november december 2019 when covid 19 came so the the highest peak have not come yet it's coming in in the end of this year and then it's uh, people start to change uh, their way to think and, and do things and uh, and then I I told you that I heard from God uh, one morning when I sit and and took uh, one morning when I start to put on me my clothes suddenly it come a voice in the room it was light in the room and uh, I was on my way to do my uh, start my day and the voice say to me that it will be the end of this tribulation will be and we can see it already that those the devil uh, start to be bored over that uh, it's so easy to kill innocent people it's so easy to to kill all people that is uh, belong to wrong religion belong to wrong uh, uh, the criminal gang and uh, those things and uh, it's uh, going on a war between evil and evil 
because the the devil have like he am thinking i don't think so but he, the devil think that he have win the war but he can't stop to make war so instead he make war to himself evil make war to evil and that uh, we that have open eyes and open ears can can tell that it has started now to be like that that they they won't, there is only one that can be on the throne of the criminal gang so they fight against it, each other to to sit there on the throne so that was god telling me if maybe 2007 like that it long time ago he he told me how the end will be and uh, it will be in the end that uh, god told me that uh, the devil will understand in the last days that he can't fight against god so instead he he see he sit on the side on the left side of god i must cough now <coughs> he will sit on the left side on god's throne and uh, and he will make a fight against his own children and clean it up that is something that people don't think like that uh, that the evil can turn around and and make good things and and uh, tell uh, god and those in heaven that he have done wrong and uh, ask for uh, God to forgive him for what he ever done and then instead help God to clean up this planet that was God telling me in 2007 like that and I it was far away so I couldn't see it I didn't know what it was he was talking about but I remember it I lay that inside my brain and hold it there so I can tell you now when when it start to happen so uh, it is uh, going to be because the good people like we say the good people will not do anything to clean up this planet and uh, we can see the sign of it because they are leaving the church the people instead to fight against evil things in in this world instead they give up and leaving the church instead to tell people inside the church to go together to do good things outside when i was in the united states i was in a poor area i lived there for some months there and uh, i go to one church uh, for three four times because it was i had to do other things because they didn't help me at all so i had to move on it, and uh, but that church had fence iron fence around the church and there was people uh, druggy people standing and lean on that fence and uh, 
they couldn't come in into the church. They, it was closed, the fence. And, and when I come there, I have to, to tell them that I wanted to be in the service. And they opened the door for me. So they have closed themselves in of fear. And that was against God's will. They didn't go out and grab those people that were standing. Standing and lean on the fence and, and selling drugs. I, I don't say about those old men but there was uh, children that was six seven years old it was children that was selling drugs and those children should they take into the church and uh, help them to stay away from to selling drugs or selling sex to men uh, I don't talk about those after 15 years old of age. This was six, seven years children that was selling drugs or selling their bodies. So those, uh, those that see themselves as good, they don't... I got touch of a spirit it was like a white orb coming to me and and went into my body but uh, so I have forgotten what I should say the last things but it is that the good people that call themselves good should uh, should do the real work and not have fear but instead they leaving the church of fear and they leaving the church because they don't get the answer from the church they are going on with the same old service that they have done for 30 40 years and they sending manuscript to each other those churches and then they tell the same thing that other churches have say and they uh, they don't uh, they don't get any contact with god they copy each other so people are tired and bored to hear the same thing in the service and then uh, have it started to be because people are leaving the churches start to make uh, concerts and uh, performance and do those things that the world is doing and not preaching as they should but they can't preach about something they are, they don't know they don't have any contact with with the spirits and, and and i know it's a time for me to stop talking be, because a spirit is here have touched me so it's time for that spirit to talk i will see what the question I had before I started this podcast was the question was uh, why have you sent me to the birthday of all these Abrahamic religions uh, prophets why those birthdays I uh, wait uh, wait for contact. It's a it, it's someone that is very white in the clothes. It is uh, 
The hair is yellow brown, long hair, so it can be either a man or a woman. Standing, it looked like uh, Jesus, uh, but Jesus looked like a woman also. He had two genders in him, and if he don't have this bard, but I don't see the bard just now. I only see a long hair, curly hair. Uh, Uh, it is Jesus because he held out his hands like he was on the cross. He maybe was on a pole, but what he he showing me is a cross because uh, that I should know who he is that standing here. It's not uh, not a real picture of him. It is uh, the what he's showing me is that I should understand is Jesus. Uh, it's dark outside, so he don't standing and look out in the garden because there is no light. Uh, and I. He is sending. He's saying to me that he, it was he that was sending me to those birthdays. Um, I I wonder why you did send me. Uh, it is like he he have let me to understand that they are a family of prophets. Uh, it is what I have told you about, what I believe in, and he confirmed it in that way, that I, I have told you sometimes that there is not only one prophet, it have been prophets in all generation. Each generation have had their prophet, but uh, not all prophets was known because they were killed. They were put in jail and die there. They were prophets that uh, people saw like they were mental sick and they couldn't reach out to people. So that is my belief still that that God have sent prophets to all generations. Uh, and that what he's talking about to to send me to all kind of birthday for for prophets so it, it was he uh, what he's saying that all these prophets should come together in one religion we say and not split up in in many branches because every everyone is coming from Abrahamic that is uh, the biggest biggest religions is from our Abraham and it uh, it is not everyone is coming from Abraham they have their own. Uh, start like in Africa they have a other start it's only that uh, uh, Christian uh, Catholic Church and 
those churches come into Africa, but they had other religions in Africa. Uh, and I have talked about it as I have been uh, cursed of those um, that stick in Nolin dolls. Those, now I don't remember what the name are. Now, Wudu. <laughs> it was someone that said, you can ask the spirit like you have done before of the name. And I got that name because he was saying like that to me. Um, Wudu. And you know that I have told you when I was in Africa how they tried to kill me uh, with Wudu. And uh, so, um, I asked the spirit how to do it to all these religions to come together, to understand that they can work together. <laughs> the spirit answered me. Very quick, this man, woman, Jesus, he's saying that, he say only two words to me, and I say, proud, proud of men, proud men, he say, proud men. It's that they want to be, sit on, on that throne in a chair. Uh, and not uh, share it with other. They want to be the up in the top. They want to be like they are God. And now, now this is saying this that uh, that's how they threw. They were thrown, uh, throwing down. Because they were thinking they should be like, like me, God. Is uh, someone is saying this to me? And what fail man was their proud, so they make war to each other because one, once in a time they were together in this Abrahamic religion and then they went away because they wanted to be up in the top and uh, I asked uh, how to make them come together and uh, he answered me the proud is like an obstacle it is an obstacle and it's uh, it is someone coming in so <laughs> I could hardly start to talk again uh, and someone come in it's it was saying that they uh, will never coming together because they are fed that what he was say saying when he come in into me, he say they are fed by the devil to never come together. There have been a trial. Some have tried to let the Abrahamic religion 
be together and i i saw that in in two of just after the terror attack in the united states uh, 2001 after that those religion Ar- abrahamic religion tried to come together and talk to each other but it failed it failed uh, maybe only one year after they have started to talk to each other and then it bre- break down and uh, it was because of proud it was only because of proud and money they didn't want to share they wanted not to share uh, they w- to sit on the on the throne with God they don't didn't want to share their money they have have <clears throat> they love money so it never come together so uh, it have been it have been that thinking to go back to where it started with Abrahamic religion when everyone was together and then it come these proud and money things uh, and the greed the biggest sin in this world is greed we need to share what we have in that way like uh, i share with you my knowledge of what god have shown me and and want me to travel away to places that he want me to go and um, and that is uh, I have to pay money for do, uh, to have my podcast and uh, you know when I was in Israel I was out of money and uh, it was on its way to stop because I couldn't pay the bill for the the podcast because all my money was going to travel to Israel but uh, someone was sending the money for to pay the podcast for one year to have the podcast and uh, on all of my platforms for the podcast did someone was sending that to me I don't know who it was but you that follow me you you help me to pay my podcasts so uh, I'm thankful when I get some support money not for myself but do the work for God so I thank you for that I don't take anything of the money for myself it's uh, everything should be to God to the work of God so thank you for listen and I would uh, write my uh, bank account uh, to on here on this episode and I tell you that uh, people have tried to come in into my bank account and um, they have taken ID my ID have they taken and then they go to places where they want to buy maybe expensive I don't know what it is Uh, I have not checked it up but they want to to buy and then they tell uh, the business that my name and my 
uh, my uh, uh, my uh, my name, my uh, birthday, uh, and those things that they can easily find, but they can can't go into my bank. And then is it also that they can't take any money in that way, so that that they buy things on my name because I have no credits. I don't have that since since year 2000 when I left. And then when I, I was away in the United States for three and a half years, uh, my husband and my son uh, took uh, many things in my name and then they didn't pay the rent for for the apartment that we had and uh, it was in my name and they didn't pay the rent for a whole year so I can't I can't rent anything um, uh, so uh, they can't rent anything in my name, but uh, they uh, I get those uh, letters that someone have have tried to uh, buy things in my name, and then they have make a, a credit information about me and uh, they can't do that because they they say she don't have any income so you she have only the the normal money i get for in retirement but i don't get any extra money i only have to survive on so they can't steal anything from me. It's a very secure, my bank account. Even if I write the bank account number on the website, is it, it not my bank account number? It is for, for my bank card. But you need to have my bank card to, to could take out any money. It doesn't work in that way. It's very security. I have paid for for extra security for my bank because I, I because uh, this is things that God is telling me. So I, <coughs> I have one big bill that is the security for a bank. It's security in, in the bank also, but I have extra so they don't come in into my computer. When I go to the bank, they can't see anything on my computer. That's the security. They can see what i doing on the internet everything that is not that need to be secured but they can't see into my bank so it's safe to help me with some money for to could maybe uh, fly away to spain in in december in christmas time uh, but I, I maybe survive. I must survive. I can't make any suicide. But it harm my body to be in the darkness and don't have any friends, have no family, nothing. It's very, very hard for me. But... Uh, I know it's forbidden to make a suicide. It's against God's will. 
So thank you for listening. And God bless you. I love you all. I I love you all my followers. Uh, I also love you that's coming in once and then leaving. It doesn't matter. You have heard me. You have heard me talking to you. And that's it. Enough. It's up to you to decide if you believe or not what I'm saying.